Hi guys, Dave Dodder here. Jamie's with me, Dr. Creeper yes. is here. We have got a new box to open. It is time for Poppin' Candy. It's the second one that we've had. Third one? Second one? Third one? Yeah. Third one, I think. Third one since they kind of reopened, rebranded. New ownership, new people, new stuff, but same. Cool candy and amazing pop figures. Um, I've got no idea what we've got, so let's open it up and let's have a look at what's inside. As with all Poppin' Candy boxes, we get a postcard. This is the new Poppin' Candy postcard. Once you pop, you can't stop. The UK's favorite pop mystery box. Not my words. The postcards words. There you go. If you want to get your own, popandcandy.co.uk. They are doing some fantastic deals. I think soon they're doing instant shipping. Don't quote me on that, but maybe after Christmas they're doing instant shipping. So, like the moment, if you order today, you won't get your box dispatched until the end of the month, to the end of December. Um, but I think in the new year they're doing instant shipping. So, if you order it today, it'll be dispatched within two or three days. That's quite cool. More work for them, I'm sure. But um, yeah, quite a cool idea. So, if you want to get one of them, order one now for, for this month, for December, or wait until January and get an instant box, it's up to you. Let's have a look at the first things in the box, let's have a look. So first up we have Mrs. Freshly's uh, cupcakes, they're red, red velvet cupcakes. I'm not going to go too into the camera because as you guys know it never focuses properly. They look really, really nice. We're not going to eat these because it's Sunday, um, we're recording this Sunday. This might go up probably today, you might have two videos, this might be the second video of the day today. Number two. Number two. Um, and we're going out for lunch, we're having a nice Toby Carvery later aren't we? So yeah. um, we're not going to spoil our dinner, but you've seen us eat lots of these sweets before. But they are some lovely red velvet, red velvet cupcakes, we can have them for pudding later. Should take them with us and put a candle in them, pretend it's my birthday. Um, there you go, red velvet cupcakes, very nice indeed. Next up we have some Hershey's Kisses, we've had these before, milk chocolate little kisses, you can see they're like little, like little poos, like little cat poos, or dog, not drops. cat poo, not be a cat poo, will it? A teardrop, that's a better phrase, rather than a poo, we'll have a teardrop a and cry. A poo teardrop. A chocolate poo, a poo what, from The Simpsons? Teardrop, yeah. A Pooh's teardrop, there you go. Um, they're little things, you unwrap the thing and they've got a nice little chocolate in. Not everyone is a fan of Hershey's chocolate. American chocolate for a lot of people is very different to, well it is very different from English chocolate. I think American chocolate is much more grainy. English chocolate I think is much smoother. Yeah. I think we do the chocolate right, the Americans don't. Controversial, but my opinion, everyone's in charge of their own opinion. But there you go, Hershey's Kisses. I like them though, Hershey's Kisses, very nice. Next, we have the filler thing. In every box, there seems to be like a filler that you get two or three or four of. We have some, some nerds. We have the Seriously Strawberry and the Lemonade Wild Cherry. Why is it Wild Cherry in the yellow box? Shaky, shaky, nerds. Next, we have a lollipop, and I got this out of the box and I read it as Fluffy Slut, which is not. It's fluffy stuff cotton candy. Not a good mistake to make. Imagine going to a shop and saying, excuse me, can I have a fluffy, fluffy stuff, slut? I am not happy that. Anyway, lollipop. Mm. What was the noise you made when you saw these? Yeah. You're not a big fan of mint, are you? Or chocolate. Or chocolate. chocolate. Dark chocolate. I don't, I'm not a massive fan of dark chocolate, but I love M&Ms and I love mint chocolate. And generally mint chocolate comes as dark. Mint and chocolate comes as dark. There goes the Christmas train. Um, yeah, minty dark chocolate M&Ms. Very, very nice. Massive fan of M&Ms. I'd like to see some peanut ones in the box, please, next time, because although they're not... Or chocolate ones. Or the normal chocolate ones. Yeah. Do you like the crispy shell ones? They're all right. They're all right, yeah. I, I, think, I think peanut ones are my favorite still. Chocolate ones. Chocolate, like, like Smarties, are your favorite. Um, if I'm honest, I prefer Smarties to them, for chocolate only, but peanuts are good, and these are fantastic. So anyway, mint chocolate. Dark chocolate M&M's. While the train goes past, we're gonna have a look at these. These are milk duds. We've had these lots of times before. These possibly are one of my favorite things. You can buy these in Tesco's even now. So if you don't wanna buy a whole pop and candy box, I'm not saying you shouldn't, because you should, pop and candy, make sure you buy them. If you wanna just test what these are like, pop into Tesco's, a lot of Tesco's have them. Milk duds, they're two or three pounds though, I think. So it makes this box very, very good value when you consider what you're getting as a pop figure as well. Um, yeah, milk duds. Chewy, caramel, chocolatey, mmm, nice. Mm. Charleston Chew. Indeed, Charleston Chews. Again, another one of my favourites. Jamie's mum loves these. This is the strawberry flavour. You get cho chocolate, I think, vanilla and strawberry, the three flavours you can get. Yeah, they use, what was it, that, that, what were they called that we used to get? I can't remember what they were called now. The little. Tex 
Texan, Texan bars. That is basically, we used to have these, they're called Texan bars in England. Pretty much the same thing. These are Charleston Chews. We used to drive to Cambridge, didn't we? To the little sweet shop in Cambridge, just to buy Charleston Chews a few years ago. And now we're getting them in the pop and candy box. So that is awesome. And the final candy drink sweet item in this box is a Japanese drink. This looks like it's kind of like a black currant drink. Yeah, it's like, it's like a blue raspberry. Oh, is it blue raspberry? That would yeah. make more sense, I guess. That looks probably more like a raspberry. But yeah, I've never had this before. You always drink these, don't you? You always drink the drinks yeah. in these boxes. So what's, what's this, is it like? Is it fizzy? Or yeah, is it... it's like a fizzy blue raspberry. Oh yeah, it's got the ball in the top, hasn't it? So when you open the bottom, you, you like pop it and the bottom, the ball drops into here, doesn't it? Into this section by the neck. Yeah. And then it fizzes it all up, doesn't it, somehow? Yeah, and then when you drink How does that work? It's magic. If anyone knows how the fizzy ball dropping fizz thing. If you're Japanese and you know how the fizzy plop plink thing works. Fizzy plop plink thing works let me know let me know in the comments and the final item in this box the pièce de résistance is the pop figure we have an awesome one here it is a double pack it is from star wars it's the new star wars the last jedi film which is coming out very soon i think it's yeah. this month you can see it i think have you seen all the other star wars films do you like do you like do you, like, do you, like, do you bother about the star wars films yeah i like, them. Them. I like them i just haven't seen more well we're, we're gonna go and see we'll, 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 we'll have to watch we'll have to watch a star we'll have to have a star wars marathon this this is the eighth Star Wars film, and they're making, I think they're making a Han Solo sort of spin off film as well. I've watched the one that's like where they're in like the desert racing. That's the Phantom Menace. The yeah, watch that one. Whatever, watch anyway. the one before the last one. Number four, one. yeah, you've seen a few. But anyway, this is a cool box. This is the Praetorian Guards. There's a double pack, and I know a lot, a lot about these boxes. Two these two pack. Or is it, is it a biggie small one? West Coast, East Coast rivalry. Bye. I'll carry on without him. It is the Praetorian Guards double pack from The Last Jedi. Um, awesome box. Like I said, I know quite a lot about these boxes. I'll keep my, I'll keep my ear to the ground in terms of what, what um, pop figures cost. I know these ones are going now because they're very hard to get. They're an exclusive one. It says a little sticker says on there. Um, and they are over $100. So when you think this is a £20 box with all the candy as well, this makes this a very, very good deal. I'm very chuffed with this. Lots of good ones in the in the set if you want to start collecting them. Um, there's Ray and Finn and Poe Demeron and Luke Skywalker and Kylo. I have to get a Luke Skywalker one, that'd be quite cool. Chewbacca, more anyway. Guys, if you want to get your own pop, pop and candy, head to popandcandy.co.uk. Um, it is not a subscription service. It's not like other unboxings or other boxes you can buy. If you order a box for, 20, for £19.99, £20, um, you only get the one box. You won't get charged again. If you want to order again the following month, just order again. So you can order as and when you want. It is an awesome thing, and as I say, in January they're coming out as instant boxes. I'm pretty certain in instant boxes coming out in January, so you won't have to wait too long to get the box as well. Thank you guys, and I will see you soon. He's gone, he's gone out the window, I think. And I will see you soon. Bye!